Hey, what the deal is, it's Hicks TV. I'm back with another one. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as follow me on Instagram. I do have the link in the description. Part in this mic right here. I just wanted to set it right here because I didn't have any other place to set it because I got all these bags on the table as you see here. I do want to talk to you all about the bags that I have. I have many tactical bags. This is not all of them that I have. I have a few more. I'll be doing videos on those later. I'm a very big fan of tactical military bags and I have about three on the table that I want to show you. So first I'm going to start with these three bags on the table as well as my medical kit. This is first. This here is my Coyote Brown tactical, very nicely made, tough nylon bag that I have here. I'm going to move the camera in a little closer and we're going to focus on this bag and we're going to talk many things about it. I'm going to flip it around and show you what the back looks like. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I currently have on the inside of these bags. These bags I typically use to grab and go. Sometimes I may switch. Some things I do keep stored on the inside of the bag. So first thing, let's take a look and see what's in the front pocket here. Nice front pocket it has. Tactical gloves. I always make sure that I keep a pair of tactical gloves in every single bag, or at least I try to keep them in every single bag. I'm gonna give you all a close up look at these gloves. They're really nice. Tactical brown. Coyote brown. Some may call it flat dark earth with the hard knuckle. Here you go. Look real nice on my hand. That strap goes all the way around to tighten it up real good. Take a look at that hard knuckle. Coyote brown, real pretty. I always like to call stuff pretty when it's nice and neat. That's just my thing. You never know, you may get into some kind of hand to hand combat. This thing is nice and tight around the wrist. I like the strap. So that's pretty much it that I have in this pocket here because there's so many places that I can put things, but the only thing I have back here is a pair of gloves. And here I do have a tactical knife that's flat dark earth as well. Coyote brown, whatever you want to call it, it matches the bag. I'm one of those. Y'all should know that by now, by seeing the other videos that I have on my channel. I like everything to be nice and neat. I take care of everything. So I will show you this knife that I have. Very nice tactical brown, coyote brown. Get a good look at that bad boy. It's always nice to have a knife on you. You never know what you may need to use it for. Maybe you need to cut something. Maybe you need to cut some wires. Maybe you need to use it as a self-defense tool. Whatever it may be. Comes in a nice case as well. Put this bad boy back in there. And that's the case for it. It can also hook on to your belt. That's the belt loop. So in the up top pocket, let me see what I have here. That is a battery charger. That's for the flashlight that I have in the bag. This is some type of anti-fog and that's for one of the items that I have in the bag. This front pocket here, let's take a look in there. I always keep a mask. Coyote tan, it matches the bag. Nice little cheap flashlight. Showed you all this before. Just a nice little cheap flashlight that I keep in the bag is better than nothing. It does have a bunch of different modes. This is an ice pack, an instant ice pack that I have. I keep that in every bag, or at least I try to. I have many of these, but I believe I have them in every bag that I have or carry around with me. This is an instant ice pack. You never know if you out, something may happen, you might get hit, whatever the case may be, you'll have an ice pack. Preparedness is everything to me. Now these bad boys here that I keep in the bag, these are goggles. I'm gonna open this up so you all can take a look at it. These are military goggles. Topic for another video, but I just want to give you all a quick look at those. They do match the mask that I have. Very nice, but again, this is a topic for a whole nother video. I'm gonna be showing you these in detail. So as for this bag, that's pretty much all I have in it. I didn't have much, just a few items that I keep in the bag. It's nothing much. Just want to show you all that and I'm gonna move to my smaller bag. Secondly, as for this bad boy right here, this is a nice small tactical bag with one strap that I can just throw over the shoulder. It has everything I need in it. In case I need to grab it and move out fast, whatever it is I need to do. It's nice and small and compact, not very big at all. I do have this right here. This is a Molly attack. This here is for extended space. So a lot of times what I do with this one here, 
this is where I set my cell phones at. I'm gonna show you a few things that's on the inside of this bag. I'm gonna start right here. Once again, very nice, small tactical flashlight. Nothing major, nothing too expensive. Nice, small, decent tactical flashlight. It's very important to have light. You never know when you may need some light. Try to be as prepared as possible. Many different things can go in this pocket right here. Whatever I need to put in it, I'll be able to put in it. On the side, there is a can of pepper spray, very potent pepper spray. There's just a quick view of this. You never know what you may need it for. You may need it for crowd control. Now, some guys may say, I won't use no pepper spray. Pepper spray's for bitches. Okay, well, it's better I use this than kill your stupid ass. It's better I use this than to be in court fighting the case for putting your ass in the ground. A lot of times, you don't even need to use a firearm. You don't need to use a knife. You may not even want to get close to the attacker. A lot of times when I'm downtown, you see these homeless people and they crazy than the motherfucker. When Instead of knocking them out, you may want to put this on them. So this is just an option, incapacitate an attacker if you need to. You never know what you may need to use this for. Now, on this side of the bag, I do have a really nice knife. This is one of the same brands that I showed you the other one. Take it right out of the case like this. Very nice knife. You always should keep a sharp instrument, just in case if you need to use it for whatever. But it's very nice. I had this for quite some time, and it goes right in the pocket, just like that. does have a zipper back here for whatever I need to store in there. Up here, here's another zipper and a pouch in case I need to put anything in there. I do keep some bleach wipes in here for cleaning purposes, whatever you need to use those for. It's nice to have wipes with you. Here's an instant ice pack once again in every single bag. Just leave them in the bag just in case if something happens. So those are pretty much just the main things that I keep in this bag amongst some other things that I possibly will put into this bag if I choose to take this bag out with me. One more look at this bad boy. Very nice. Now this bag right here, I did do a whole entire video on this bag and I'm not gonna go through everything that's in this bag. In fact, I'm not gonna go through anything that's in this bag, but I just wanted to show you all this along with the others. I do have a whole entire video on this bag along with everything in it. But the reason I'm showing it, it's like my ultimate bag. This is one of those Highland Tactical bags. I'ma post the link in the description to this bag because it does have its own video. Very nice Highland Tactical bag. Have a nice Nebo flashlight on there that goes all the way up to a thousand lumens. I have a tourniquet here inside of a tourniquet holder. Many different things on this bag. Very nice. Just wanted to give you all a quick look at it. If I were to grab any bag, it'll be this one. This one is ready to go for sure. This is ready to go. It's all packed up. It's all nice. It has many tactical things in it. It has everything I need in it to be out for a few days. Now this bag, I only have a few things in it, but I'll show you what's in the front. I always got to keep a nice pair of gloves, nice pair of tactical gloves. I'll put these on so I can show you all what they look like. Get a good look at that. Very nice. These fit so well. Very nice. But I'm actually doing a video on these gloves as well as many other gloves that I have. So when I look in the top of this bad boy, I do keep a mask in here, tactical mask. I do keep these in here. These are magazine holders for an AR-15. Have to keep these just in case. This is like an emergency bag. Things go left and I get this bag, somebody in trouble. Take a good look at these goggles. Very nice military ballistic goggles. I'm actually gonna do a whole video on these as I said about the others. And I'm gonna do a whole video about the gloves that I have, the tactical gloves. But these are nice. Something else I have in here is a pair of tactical 511 jeans. So that's pretty much it for that bag. I do keep those few little items in this bag and maybe I may add more to it, but for right now I just keep those few items. I'm probably gonna put a tactical belt in this bag as well. Uh, maybe a pair of socks. I don't know, but it's just a bag that I keep a few things in in case I need to do whatever it is I need to do. I do have on that side some knee pads. It does have a strap that you can carry on your shoulder but that's it for that bag. And here's a little medical kit that I always keep. And actually I'm thinking about putting this on the inside of my duffel bag, but this is a medical kit that I always keep. It has a tourniquet in it. Very nice little small medical kit. This is the Gen 4 bag, I believe. Very nice to have. You gotta make sure you look through this stuff cause God forbid one day you might need. Nice little small medical kit. Now this bag here, I'm not even gonna say what's in this bag. I'm not even gonna show what's in this bag. But this is a bag, if I need this bag, that means everything else 
else fail. You motherfuckers ain't ready to see what's in this bag, and I'm not gonna show what's in this bag, maybe for a later video, but this is also a bag that I have ready for emergencies. Hopefully I never have to go in it, but I always try to be prepared. Hicks TV, I'm getting up out of here. I will post the videos to the other bags that I have in the description, as well as at the end of this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you will. I don't see why you wouldn't because I show so much shit and I teach so much shit. I don't see why you wouldn't subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, the link in the description, as well as the picture on the screen. Peace.